I made clear that after the pause, it was imperative that Israel put in place clear protections for civilians uh, and for sustaining humanitarian assistance uh, going forward. And uh, as we've seen just today, Israel's already moved out on, uh, on parts of that, including uh, sending out information, making it clear where people could be in safe areas in, uh, in Gaza. Uh, and we'll be looking, uh, looking at that going forward. It's very, very important. It's also important to understand why the pause came to an end. Um, it came to an end because of Hamas. Hamas reneged on commitments it made. In fact, even before the pause came to an end, it committed an atrocious terrorist attack in Jerusalem, killing three people, wounding others, including Americans. Uh, it began firing rockets before the pause had ended, and as I said, it reneged on the commitments it made in terms of releasing certain hostages. But we're also using our diplomacy to look at not only what's happening uh, today uh, and how we're ha handling that, but also uh, what happens the day after in, in Gaza and how we can get on the path to a just, lasting, and secure peace for Israelis, for Palestinians, in fact, for everyone in, in the region. And that's also a big focus of our diplomacy. Uh, here today, I had an opportunity to meet with a number of colleagues from across the region, and we, f we focused our conversation on all three aspects of what we're doing today, uh, the day after in Gaza, as well as the path to a durable, lasting, secure peace for everyone concerned. 